I had a game fully anticipated being really tough for both teams to score. I think it was. Uh, um, in the end, um, you know, I think we scored more from the field. They end up scoring more from the line. And uh, about what I expected, and you just got to execute. But team to execute makes plays down the stretch. I thought they made, made a few more than us. And um, they won. OK, now questions from the floor. Uh, Coach, how did the, the teams kind of stalemate each other defensively? Did it seem like um, how well matched? I just they think they're, they're so big and long, and they switch things. They make it really challenging to score. They guard similar to us. Um, and uh, it was tough. And there's strength inside. It was tough because they would go smaller. And we'd have to downsize, try to match up and score offensively. And then we just to make the trade out um, playing big. So uh, we just we got down there, and they we started that second half. We couldn't make, couldn't score, and that kind of snowballed. And offensively for BSU, where do you think that they maybe started to find the seams a little bit in the defense later? Mm -hmm. I, you guys obviously never like collapsed or anything, but when they did kind of make that run and get back into it, yeah, I don't know if it was a run as much as we really didn't score. When I say we didn't score, I mean we didn't score. <laughs> so they got transition. They got a couple transition in that stretch. Um, they got in low post, but uh, when they shoot second half, thirty six and twenty five. So and then they got to the foul line. They made the free throws. So I don't think they're a tremendous foul shooting team. And they they uh, I think uh, Kigab is career fifty eight percent. He went nine for eleven. So like I said, credit him for doing that. Um, that's what you got to do to to win games. How much of a of this game was kind of the case of uh, they clogged the middle a little bit more, kind of like the last game, and and there weren't as many chances, or was it made like there were opportunities, but the kind of the lid was just on the bucket. Well, they're hard to score on because they can help and recover and make it tough on you. And uh, you know, Ty gave us a big lift, made a lot of um, when they go play drop on their ball screen coverage, and and uh, so he would use that. And Andre obviously was just really gritty tonight. Um, on the offensive boards, played within himself, really gave us a chance to, to uh, you know, stay in that game. Andre, for you, I have a double-double. Uh, I guess, first of all, where, where do you think personally you were finding su success? And then how would you assess kind of your guys' defense as a whole tonight? Um, I mean, we, we had uh, – we fought hard in, and during all the game. Uh, we were tough in defense, but – we took some bad shots in, shots in offense, and we honestly didn't score. Uh, I think that's the, the biggest you know, um, problem um, for us right now. Uh, we, we have to take uh, better shots, and we need a better ball movement. Um, you said uh, I, I got double-double, but it doesn't matter. We didn't win. It's, it's all about winning the game, so um, I, can, I can be happy with that. I think I I, uh, I have to play with more confidence, um, and I think I can do better than this. Coach, it seemed like there was that stretch in the second half where they were just more aggressive. It seemed tougher, getting basketballs, loose balls. Was that a key part of this game tonight? It always is. Every game, every competition, the toughest team usually has the best chance to win, and uh, and I don't I don't think we're not tough, they were tougher. And uh, um, so hopefully we, we will learn and grow and get better. Um, but Andre said it right, he doesn't, I'm sure he's shocked that he's in here. Uh, we didn't win and he doesn't think that way. And it's, it's nice to, uh, he's been coming on and works and cares a lot. So that's, that's important. What can this club learn from this as far as the lessons from the New Mexico State games from this? going into Pac-12 play to get better in the second half as far as toughness is concerned? A lot. It's just we've, we've uh, for whatever reason, I haven't done a good enough job to communicate that and, and emphasize that in practice. Some of it's availability for practice. Um, we've been dinged up, sick and that stuff. But bottom line, it's going to get down to that. It's going to get down to who wants the ball more, who's – so I know we went on the locker room. And I think Smith took a. We got a defensive rebound, and he took one away from us. And we're 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 worried about getting a foul, and can't worry about that. 
Dagenhart came over back, but, you know, he put the foul in. But he was, you know what, you're the aggressive team. I don't even know if he fouled us. I'm just saying he got in there. So it's like those are the plays, like I said, and they, should, they made the winning plays down the stretch. And um, we made some, but not enough. Coach, in terms of wins and losses here in December, it's a bit of a rough stretch. How do you get out of that rut going into Pac-12 play now? I don't know it's rut. We haven't done anything yet, period. We've had my two years here, we've had 500 a year and one game over 500. So everyone has this. <laughs> I'm sorry to the narratives. Like, oh, you guys are good. I'm like, I'm not sure what you're basing it on. All right. And that's what our team needs to hear. Like, you are what your record is, Bill Parcells. So we're eight and five. We'd like to be better. We've been poor in t close games. That's evident. And we're either going to break through and get tougher and, it's, and win some of these, or we'll fold. And uh, historically, we haven't been, so we'll get, we'll get better. But um, it's nice to have an expectation, because I think people have talked about us. I guess we've earned it through articles. <laughs> Not playing, not not playing. You know, that's why I don't I don't get into the social media stuff and that. And I, I don't know if our guys do. I know it's hard not to, but it's like you know, we're just we are who we are. We're eight and five. We lost tight games, and we got to find a way to get better. And shooting the ball, we do is not going to get it done. That's that's been a common theme in the losses. Is that we've guarded probably well enough. We got to we got to put the ball in the basket and make good plays. Uh, Coach, toward the end of the game there, there was it looked like after, I think it was Noah who made that basket, then there was a, a turnover you guys created. It was initially called for you. They reviewed it, it was, then it wasn't. Just uh, What did you see in that play? You know, I, I don't know where it's way it went off, but it was just poorly adjudicated on the time. I mean, it took them like two minutes. I'm like, and one of, one of the officials came over and said, oh, it was clearly that one. I said, well, why did it take two minutes? If it was clearly what it was, so I don't. And they said they couldn't get the screen up. I said, "Well, that makes sense." And then I don't know. They they seem very disorganized. I'm not. Saying, they just seem. They call it our ball, their ball, our ball, their ball. <laughs> so it's like, come on, fellas. You know, you got to do better. You got to do better. I don't know if that's on that thing. It's like, just I don't care. I don't think Leon, Lee and I looked at each other. We we're frustrated. Like, just make a call. Step up. <laughs> they they can choke too. I mean, whatever they they can they got to be clear on that. But I I couldn't tell whether it was our ball or not. You mentioned some of you guys have been dinged up a little bit. There are some illnesses going around. Is there going to be some rest? You got a little while to your next game. What what is the next yeah. few days? Week I mean, like? guys, yeah, we'll get some rest. Get four days themselves, and hopefully do some soul searching in that. And uh, everyone obviously everyone's dealing with health issues, so we're not <laughs> we're not the only ones. Um, you know, they only play six and a half players, and they were the tougher team down the stretch. So um, our bench is great, um, and our depth helped us, but we got to get better. Uh, Jamie Vinnick, online, go ahead. Coach, uh, I'm sorry if you answered this already. I got okay. hard to hear over the Zoom. Um, just in regard to, to the offense in particular, I mean, just shooting, you know, 30, 29, 60, uh, what kind of is presenting itself as maybe a solution to improve that? Because, you know, I think there's a consistent theme that when you guys aren't winning, it's just it's not, the ball's not going to the basket. And we're turning it over. Don't forget that. Um, you know what? We got to watch film. We got to, we got to be more patient. We got to be push through and fight for our shots. We got to, they get you to the end of the clock too. They're no like I said, they're they're a very good defensive team. We knew they're a very good defensive team, rebounding team, tough, they're old. Um and uh we gotta we gotta punch through and deliver. I mean we were we were throwing the ball at the rim there in the second half. We're missing layups, missing bunnies and um you know we just we gotta be more willful. Do you think there's maybe something in the, the actual system and, you know, the offensive structure that can be tinkered with that might, you know, be able to free up some more good looks? Probably. Uh, I mean, is that something <laughs> you guys are going to – is that something you guys will, will look at or is it, you know, trying to just figure it out this way? Uh, probably. I mean, that's what we do. That's my job. We'll, we'll look at it. Not, not sure what – not sure right now what it is, but I need to, yeah, do yeah, – always, always looking to get better. And improve things. Uh, just you know, when it comes to the post play, I mean, it, you know, didn't get a whole lot of production there tonight. I think in, in losses, only get you know 13, 14 points from the, you know the interior. Is there something that you know they're not? Are teams closing off those looks, or you know, is it not is not enough assertiveness? I mean, what kind of do you think is contributing to not getting enough uh, 
post-production? Uh, probably not playing with enough purpose. You know, the games get tight, and we got to stay and have enough confidence to throw the ball inside and, and uh, play out of the post. You know. And then Andre, as he said, it Oops. Earlier, you know, it's obviously gets kind of lost in the loss, and you know, it's off. <laughs> I didn't see you're good enough to leave. I'm sorry about that. That's all good. Um, but you know, the double double. Back to back, you know, really strong games from you. Um, I think I asked you on the depth Northern Colorado, but just kind of feeling like you're a little bit closer to 100 percent after that off season surgery and missing so much time. Yeah, I'm getting there definitely. Um, you know, uh, I'm trying to to get back in shape, and uh, uh, I think that I said also to the coach Smith that you know I'm ready to play, I'm ready to go. Um, I just need to get more comfortable on the court. Um, you know, um, I used to play uh, to to make plays for for my teammates, and uh, I don't think that I did a good job today and uh, the previous um, you know games. So I'm trying to focus on to to get better there, and of course to to just like um, you know play make 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 plays for my teammates. You let us in assist, so don't don't beat your up don't beat yourself up too bad. You have to be more aggressive. No, you're good. You're good.